Sexual violence awareness advocates are hitting the ground running to spread awareness about the issue in a colorful way. Mel Meyer has more in this week's Community Spotlight. It's a staggering statistic. One in four women by the time they were, are 18 will be sexually assaulted. But it's more than just numbers. The real people in our community, friends and family members who are affected by sexual abuse and violence. Every 98 seconds I ring the bell to let people know that every 98 seconds someone in America is sexually assaulted. It's with this in mind that the Northern Minnesota nonprofit Support Within Reach decided to get creative with their 10th annual run and walk. A lot of runs in town and color runs are becoming really popular but we are always happy to see people supporting those who are victims and survivors and those who support those who are victims and survivors. The cause brought together runners and walkers of all levels. This was Emily Nelson's first time running a 5K, but couldn't pass it up. I've just been starting to run and I like the feeling of it and color runs sound like a good way to start so and it was for a really good cause. While it's been a while since Tia Hintz has done a run like this, she wanted to come show her support. Hintz has previously worked with Support Within Reach to spread awareness on the Bemidji State University campus with the campaign It's On Us. With sexual assault prevention, a lot of people don't like talking about it um, so this kind of is a fun way to talk about it. So I think it's important for people to come out and support and have a conversation because it doesn't happen very often. In the end, mother-daughter duo Gina Allgard Kelly and Avalon Kelly raced across the finish line for first and second place in the women's division. Allgard Kelly says that they're competitive in nature, but events like this bring back the fun to the sport. And the message about sexual assault awareness I think is really important because there's so many people, both boys and girls and men and women that suffer from it. In Bemidji with this week's Community Spotlight, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.